So radium-223, or Zofigo, is an FDA-approved bone-targeting radiopharmaceutical, which improves overall survival in men with bone metastases and castrate-resistant prostate cancer. The basis for its clinical benefits has is, is been unknown, how it directly targets the osteoblastic bone microenvironment, for example. We hypothesized that this process of osteomimicry that prostate cancer cells can undergo may explain some of the benefits. Osteomimicry is a form of plasticity in which prostate cancer cells can evolve and acquire a bone-forming property. Uh, in order to answer this question, we studied uh, a group of men treated at our university with radium, and we did bone biopsies, circulating tumor cell analyses, and cell-free DNA analyses. And we found evidence in the circulating tumor cells and in the bone of osteomimicry. Specifically, bone alkaline phosphatase, which is an enzyme that is important for bone mineralization, was upregulated in the circulating tumor cells in the majority of men, and it persisted despite the radium, although it declined. Serum bone alkaline phosphatase declines with this therapy, and that decline is associated with a better long-term survival. We found that there was genetic evidence of osteomimicry pathways getting amplified in the cell-free DNA as well as circulating tumor cells. But interestingly, this was much more easily detected in the CTCs rather than the cell-free DNA, possibly because of differences in assay detection, but maybe biologic differences in that the circulating tumor cells may have different biologic properties than the shed DNA of dead and dying cells. Another key finding was that we found that radium uptake and emission, meaning the gamma emission from uh, the bone metastases, was higher in the prostate cancer tumor biopsies themselves rather than the adjacent normal bone. And this supports that radium may be targeting the tumor directly in addition to the bone microenvironment and the osteoblasts. And this has implications for the treatment of men with bone metastases. These osteomimicry pathways or plasticity pathways could be co-targeted along with radium or targeted directly in other combinations to prevent or delay bone metastases. Understanding the functional significance of these pathways may help us prevent bone metastases someday and also design better strategies for where radium might be better suited to clinically benefit patients. This was a 20 patient but very intensive study. So these men underwent up to three biopsies they had uh, liquid biopsies multiple times during this study. The primary endpoint was actually change in the circulating tumor cell expression of bone alkaline phosphatase and osteomimicry biomarker. It was not a survival endpoint. It was really a pharmacodynamic study to really intensively look at this biology, which didn't, did not require big sample size. Yeah, what happens next is one of the innovative things out of this project is that we were able to grow some of the circulating tumor cells outside of the, the bodies of these patients who generously contributed these bone biopsies and circulating tumor cells. We'd like to functionally characterize these osteomimicry pathways to see if we can block them to reduce bone metastases, develop innovative strategies to reduce bone metastases, which is the major morbidity of patients who have metastatic prostate cancer.